Alright, much of brew time. Playing some splendid teamer in standard. And yeah, this hand's actually exactly what we want. Ways to fill our graveyard and find our splendid reclamation. And then hopefully win. <laughs> Spire of Industry, okay, maybe a Titan deck? Lumbering Falls, go. Could also be Vehicles, could be Marty Vehicles. Inventor's Fair, all right, could be a combo deck. Thankfully, we got a couple main deck, Dissenter's Deliverances. And I guess we just lead on Contingency Plan. Mill, 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 keep. So we'll keep one piece of the puzzle. I don't know if we're actually going to have time to cast two pieces of the puzzle. So we should be able to pieces of the puzzle this next turn if we want to. And then the following turn is when we might have to worry about combo stuff. We'll have to see. It could just be that our opponent's playing a, a Metalwork Colossus deck and then we're less worried about getting comboed off. But if we see signs of Paradox Engine, Aether Flux, or the floor, or our opponent just misses our land drop. Well, that makes things easy. So let's play the land and pieces of the puzzle. Part of the Water Veil, Lightning Axe. Still haven't found Splendid Reclamation, but one, two, three, four, five lands in the graveyard. So hopefully if we find one, things will go well. Our Renegade map. Oh, this could also just be like a, well, one, two, one, two, contingency plan. Well, mill, mill, mill. Tempted to keep Gaia Reach, but I think we don't. Mill, 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 mill. We'll keep Crush on top. So many lands in the graveyard. Play a forest. Pass the turn. Opponents gain in some Inventor's Fair Life. We have so many lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And, I mean, we only got 36 cards left in our deck, so we're going to find a funded reclamation pretty soon and that's gonna be a pretty good deal for four mana still not sure if our opponents comboing or all right definitely leaning towards our opponent playing paradox engine here all right we'll just untap then I think we read <clears> hmm <throat> it's actually tricky all right play Ether Hub, get an energy, cathartic reunion, enough mana to pay for a metallic rebuke, discard, crush of tentacles, and yeah, we'll discard the lightning axe. And now I think we gotta pass. I don't think we can just contingency plan. Man, we went through 28 cards and haven't found a Reclamation yet. I think we got to leave up to Center's Deliverance because it's so easy to die if our opponent has Paradox Engine. And we don't want to take the risk of having that happen. What's our opponent have? Taps on taps, Prism. Ether Hub. And Passes. Oh dear, their Splendid Reclamation problem is counters, counters, counters. Let's contingency plan. Mill, mill, mill. I don't even know if we have lands left for Nissa's Renewal. And we're not going to tap out for that. Mill, we'll keep Cathartic Reunion. Play Lumbering Falls, pass the turn. Well, this is going to be the turn, I think. Pony has five mana, which is exactly enough for Paradox Engine. Six mana. The bigger concern is... Hmm. There's a Puzzle Knot. Maybe this is just a Titan deck. Maybe they're not comboing. They still probably do have counters. We can Splendid Reclamation and pay for Metallic Rebuke next turn. And we have a roughly infinite number of lands. Ah, pyramid. All right, maybe this is the combo build. Well, play Cinderglade. We're going for it. Splendid Reclamation. We can pay for the rebuke, but then we 
die if they have a if they are comboing and they could have another rebuke all right i think we gotta let it go they probably have a second rebuke anyway which means they might be able to combo off regardless feels like this is a matchup that gets better after sideboarding because we have a lot of useless removal well not a lot but some useless removal that will turn into counter spells that are much more relevant opponent will probably also get more counters puzzle knot draws a card i mean at this point they could just colossus 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 and that would beat us with these sanctum of Ugans. we don't we don't really have an answer for that all right renegade map is not the thing that kills us and opponent passes man going shields down is so risky I mean, I think we got. Uh, I think we got to start making headway. I'm not even sure that what we have would save us if our opponent decides to go off. Let's get rid of Pyramid of the Pantheon. Opponent would be able to turn it on next turn, and that's the biggest mana card if they are on Paradox Engine plan. Well, this is it. We're tapped out. Is our opponent going to counter a World Breaker? No. They realize it's only a five-seven. All right, opponent, it's your time to shine. Shields are completely down. Opponent draws a card with Puzzle Knot. I think we're still mostly dead to just Metalwork Colossus as well. There's a Swamp. All right, here they come. Colossus. Well, our opponent's not comboing, but they're still probably beating us. Sacking, sacking. Colossus, Colossus, Colossus. Probably still has a counter spell. Renegade map. Untaps. Kozlex return. Not looking too good. Alright, discard two cards. Cathartic reunion. Pieces of the puzzle. We gotta go risky here. Splendid Reclamation, Splendid Reclamation. Pass the turn. I think we're dead. We don't have enough mana. Well, let's try it. Got a counter? They do. There's a second rebuke. Yep. All right. Interesting. Well, thankfully, we get sideboard, which is going to make our life much better. So we get to go down, bad removal, cathartic, uh, Kozlex returns, lightning axes, that kind of stuff. Also, probably going to go down Crush of Tentacles. I don't feel like our opponent minds us bouncing them their stuff so they can replay it. Bring in all the counters. Our negates. That's so weird. This one's red. This one's blue. Unless you click on it, then it's red. Oh, magic in your promos. All right, we're on the play for game two, and I like this end. We got a counter, got the reclamation, got a pieces of the puzzle. This looks pretty reasonable. Gaia Reach can let us do some looting and red negate. It's like a pyroblast version of negate. I just, I can't get over the umbrella. That's, isn't that an umbrella? It's Jace with an umbrella keeping lava from falling on him. That's my interpretation of that art. Well, Shelter Thicket, pass the turn. Hope our opponent can't go too crazy already. Another land for our opponent. And a Prophetic Prism. Land? And this is Renewal. Well, play Sanitarium. Play Pieces of the Puzzle. Well, take Negate, take Dissenter's Deliverance, pass the turn. We are going to want to find a land. We might have to cycle Dissenter's Deliverance if we don't find lands. I guess we can also try to start looting with Sanitarium. We can't really just let our opponent... Oh, that's a bad one. That's a bad one. We can't just let them ramp into... Land, please? Not a land. Well, this is very bad. So we have to Contingency Plan, Mill... Mill, mill, mm. maybe we keep two lands on top. Mill, 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 two lands on top. 
Cycle to center's deliverance. Ah, uh, so much work to play a land. And we can't negate Colossuses, no matter how much we want to. Land number four, five mana. We just had to cycle our artifact destruction spell. Born has thought not seer. Alright, opponent takes our Splendid Reclamation, which is actually a pretty good sign that our opponent does not have a counter at the moment. Because if they had a counter, they could have left it up and just countered it. So I think that that's what that means. We are a bit buried under Thought Knot, and we took out all of our removal. Opponent oh, gets in. Well, that is not going to work. Negate one. Opponent oh, passes. Ether Hub. Well, I mean, I think we got to go for it. We were talking about them not having a counter. Maybe we completely misread our opponent's uh, play there. Interesting. Okay. So our opponent did have a counter. Not sure. Hmm. Seems like a weird take if you had a counter to leave up the Splendid Reclamation. When you could take something like World Breaker that's going to be really good as the game goes along. Puzzle not for our opponent. Well, now we're rooting for a land for World Breaker. Opponent plays a land. No Colossuses yet. Opponent gets in for four. Oh, they do have Colossus. Well, now we're Lander Bust. And land isn't even a guaranteed win. Oh, God. Opponent gets a Deep Fiend. Alright, World Breaker. Get rid of Colossus. So our opponent can sack Colossus to Deep Fiend, but the Deep Fiend doesn't actually do much. It saves the Colossus from getting exiled, but it doesn't tap anything relevant, which means we still have World Breaker for blocking. All right, opponent's going to Deep Fiend. I think this is good for us. I was more scared of this Deep Fiend tapping down our blockers. I think that was the scarier thing that could have happened. The upside of this for our opponent is they can potentially sack some stuff to get back their Colossus eventually. Sacks the Puzzle Knot. Okay. Plays the land. Opponent can't really attack effectively. Opponent passes. Well, play Sanctum, pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Oh, looting is so painful here, but I think we gotta do it. Don't like letting our opponent loot. Discards a caravan. Guess we gotta discard a part the water veil. Awkward. Dispel. Pass the turn. I think we're very close to dead to another Elder Deep Fiend. Keep looting. The only saving grace is we can activate a Lumbering Falls. That doesn't even work. Yeah, I think we're just literally dead to Elder Deep Fiend. Discard Dispel. Play pieces of the puzzle. Opponent negates. Well, let's negate back. We gotta play like they don't have it. Alright, all the negates. Play Sheltered Thicket. Pass the turn. Hope we keep living. We can awaken apart the Water Veil next turn. No Deep Fiend yet. And we just got three counters out of our opponent's hand. Or two counters. That's a timely draw. We're actually hoping to loot into a land. Yeah. Not that a land is helpful. Opponent passes. Play the mountain. Uh, uh. Cycle. Pass the turn. Not in a good position. Elder Deep Fiend's super good against us. Crack spawning bed. Okay. Cruise. Well, we're not just dead because of Lumbering Falls. All out attack. Fire up Lumbering Falls. Block, block. Take a bunch. Drop to three. 
Draw an island. Oh dear. Are we out of outs? I guess part the water veil is a card that we need if we can can find it. Opponent very well could be holding a counter. More lands. That's definitely not it. Ceremonious rejection. Another loot. And dead on board. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I wonder if that's a bad matchup or hmm. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, take a minute and click that subscribe button. It's a great way to support the channel for free, and you'll find the next video in the playlist right here.